Hey guys, what's up? Uh, or what's up my fellow gamers, yada yada. I'm kind of pissed off because I actually recorded a 30 minute video without realizing that I had my microphone off. So the video had no freaking commentary because of that. So I'm gonna be redoing this video a third freaking time. First time that first incident was, well basically my internet sucked so it disconnected like two minutes in. The second time was the microphone error and now it's hopefully not gonna have any problems. Hopefully you guys can hear me fine. I'm sorry for the error. I don't know why it happened again to me. It just, I forgot to turn on audio. <laughs> but anyway, in the last episode, we met Al Gore. Yes, that Al Gore, and sent us this message. Hello, my young friend. This is Al Gore. That's me in the big profile picture. I'm talking to you now. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> sorry, that kind of hurt me. <laughs> um... We also learned, I think we chose this as our upgrade last episode, and we began our mission, Call the Banners, which we'll be finishing now by completing the last two tasks. So first up is Tweak, Tweak Bros Coffee. Okay, every time I think of Tweak Bros, I think of Super Smash Brothers Welcome too. Welcome to Tweak Coffee. coffee. Coffee made with ingredients supplied by local organic suppliers. It's local coffee, brewed locally. Tweak? Tweak! <laughs> Have you picked up the fresh local ingredients? Uh, not yet, Dad. I'm still trying to do all my chores. Well, hurry up, son. The family business is relying on you. <laughs> so sorry for the problem I had earlier. Just, I'm kind of pissed off today. Plus, yesterday was kind of stressful for me. I, I don't want to get into it. Anyway, um, if you break this cabinet, you get some items. Not really any good ones, honestly. And you can also buy more items from Mr. Tweak, but uh, I'll show you what he has just to. Hello there. If you're looking for Tweak, he's in the back room, unattended, unattended, like a pristine meadow known only to the wild horses that graze there. Would you like to try some coffee? It's fresh, like a sun-dappled cornfield, ready for harvest. So he has pretty good items. To be honest, the only item I highly recommend buying here is the speed potion, which gives you a second attack, which is pretty nice. And if you really want to, I'd say stock up on power potions and cure potions because they're kind of helpful also. You don't really need to though, because to be honest, by collecting all the items you can in the game, by going into people's houses and like opening their cabinets and stuff, you get plenty of killing items. So you get plenty of those items. Never bought any. So, How am I supposed to do all of this? There's no way, man. Starbucks has like eight employees. Here it's just me. So there's nothing else for us to do here. You can see that chest up there. We can't really open that due to the um, lock. Um, I thought that was the only one in the whole game, but there is another one in a later area. Um, we'll be getting to that actually in this episode, so I'll point it out when we get to that. But for now, our current, our next location will be going to this location right here. So that's what these exclamation points are. Those are points of interest that you want to go to. You can see there's one up here um, at this farm and then there's one there's one here at Token's house. That's where we're gonna go later. And there's also one at this lake and this one at the church. We'll do the man bear pig side quest that we accepted later. We'll pretty much do all of these next episode. We're gonna accept as many quests as we can. So I have a couple to do. I'm just going to do that like every three or four episodes I'm going to be doing nothing but side quests so we can just get those done and out of the way, you know. Anyway. I also make one, I also make, I also want to make a quick stop here at the self storage facility because it's pretty good to um, get this area opened up because you'll be going here quite a bit. So we'll do that real quick. All you have to do, not shoot the cat, but shoot the ladder down. Oh, something that's going to piss off a lot of people. I actually did not know there was a sprint button in this game. It's by holding circle on the, um, well, of course, circle. Simple as that. 
you want to go into this building. And you can see that there's something under there, but you can't for some reason open this, so... But you can get access to that later. Uh, nothing else for us here. By clicking that button on the wall, it opens up this gate. So now you can freely go through and in and out. So this one is locked. This one is locked. And this one... It's also locked. So you can't do much here at all. Until a little bit later. So we'll come back here when we get to it. Actually, this guy has an item of interest. Give you a good price. So he has some consumables. Some equipment that's pretty decent, I guess. But I won't be getting some... Uh, some flare. <laughs> uh, toothpick is what I want to buy. Add bleeding to a perfect attack. Pretty good item. Um, yeah. And how that item works is as is simple. Basically, you go to your item of interest, click square, and then you go to this menu, click X, and then equip the item you want. Pretty simple. Adds a nice little bonus effect, so now it can add bleeding to perfect attack. A perfect attack is by completing the action command that's given to the move. Um, I'll show you what I mean when we get to battle. And you can't go this way quite yet. You can see that there's these rats. If you try anything, they'll attack you, even if you try hitting them. It's just don't go near them until later. So let's go over here. We have to go this way too, because it's, I think, the only way you could really go to get to Tweet's house, because you can see that there's no like crosswalk or anything like that. Yeah, in this game, you can't walk on the street except for crosswalk. <laughs> yeah, that so happened. Gave me the worst pink belly over there one time. He did that again! Okay, Butters. Seriously, keep your weirdness to yourself. No, I can't. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, kid, can you help me? There was a mix-up at the post office, and they accidentally gave me a package for Miss Cartman. Any chance you can go to the post office and pick up mine while I drop this one by her house? Yeah, you can tell what kind of character he is. <laughs> See, you just get healing potions by just going through people's cupboards and drawers and stuff. For one thing, one thing I'm kind of weirded out about is that this guy has no bathroom. Oh, and this item actually, I didn't know this was there until recently. It, it was pretty well hidden, so. Like, where does this guy take a crap? Unless I'm just missing it and it's there, but it's just hidden, you know? And there's nothing really in his garage, but something that kind of makes me laugh every time I see it is this sign right here. Gays hate against fags. Like I, I, I just don't get it at all. I just don't. I don't really think there's anything important in that garage. If there is, please correct me. There's a couple items that you can get over here, so we'll get those real quick. Sorry, I don't. So item right here. Got some money. And I believe there's also an item up here. The Mexican staring frog? What? <laughs> that had to be something from an episode because I... I'm not really a huge South Park watcher. So, I got a fair amount of good items there. There's another side quest we could accept right here, so we'll accept this one. Come play hide and seek with us. You're it. 
We'll devote that hide and seek side quest to a whole episode because they're scattered throughout the game, and I just I'm gonna avoid finding them until I'd say episode five is when we'll do the hide and seek episode. Episode five, yeah. So if you absolutely want to, you can actually battle this girl and her friends. I don't think they're super tough, but they're not the easiest. You might be thinking, oh my god, you're beating up little kids. Well, yeah, I am. <laughs> Wow, that did a lot of damage. Oh. Uh. Cool. Ow. So bleeding damage is basically like a poison effect oh, from no. Pokemon. Well, not really poison because... Well, actually it is because it does a, hand, a small amount of damage at the end of every turn. Unlike Burn, which doesn't... Unlike oh, Burn, shit. which does the same, but Burn has another sub-effect in Pokemon <laughs> where... It Basically, I believe it has the attack stat of the Pokemon that it's affecting. I don't know. I, I don't want to get into any. I don't want to get into different games and mechanics. But, well, I'm like getting. That. There's nothing really. I am the pirate king. That's pretty much all there is to that. Like, there's no reason why you should have beat those kids up, except unless you really want to be mean. <laughs> My frost giant is invisible. This is something that I always laugh at. Slaying the mighty frost giant, I stand in awe of you, hero. When you defeat it, he becomes I one of your friends. To admire your awesomeness. Whose house is this? Oh. Okay. So we could explore over this way, but there's no real reason to for now. So we'll do that when we. We'll just do that later. Oh! Also, forgot this. Almost forgot this. The furry cat. Long way from home, human. I need the experience. And he even got the blood damage. Nice. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm just trying to focus on this fight. Just, just be dead. Shit, I might need. I need to heal desperately. Okay, so um, Stop I don't want to waste it. But I just leave us alone. Okay, good, we got rid of it. So we could revive our friends, but instead I think I'm just going to pop out of this. 
bitch. Die, asshole. And he's gonna die from the blood. The blood. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got the package for Tweet Coffee. You got the envelope? Uh, these witch doctors must be cooking up a secret potion. I wonder if it's a healing potion. Hey, that's not the usual kid that picks up the package, huh? Oh, shit. It's a kid! Well, what the heck? I'm gonna get grounded anyway, you might as well. Oh. Yep. This cop's You're crazy. literally fighting a bunch of drug addicts who make drugs. The illegal kind, okay. Brutality, I want a lawyer. <laughs> Sorry, that, I, I I just found that pretty hilarious. Feel my righteous fury. have to survive this and then bam. These guys might be scientists. Butters. Did she really have a hobo sack on her? <laughs> okay, shut up! <laughs> um, so how this is basically how to get the um well item we need the special delivery. There's also another area that we need to go up. So up here is actually one of the locations you that you want to put the um, Man Bear Pig tracking device on, but I actually want to save that for another episode so I don't get like confused or anything like that. So we'll get to that when we get, we'll put that there when we, in an upcoming episode. I'd say next episode we'll do that. I know it's weird, but trust me. You can also now go into Kinney's house and just talk. Oh, hey, you're the new kid. My sister, the princess, texted me about you. She thinks you're cute. Okay, wait, what? Pregnant no more? 999 pills? Wow. What crap. There's one of those collectible uh, Pokemon or whatever they're called in this game here in this room. Sorry to hear about the renters. Usually they're real fun and energetic. 
So that's all we can do here. Well, since we're done here pretty much, let's just head to Tweak's Coffee. Dark roast. <laughs> what? <laughs> you did it! You got the pickup! Oh, thanks, man. Dad, I finished my work. Can I go play? Where's today's delivery? Right here. Hmm. Yep, that's good shit. All right, Tweak, you can play for a little bit. But be home before dark or you'll be grounded. Grounded. Like the fresh grinds of our all-organic Tweak blend, made with ingredients from local tweakers. Thanks, kid. I gotta go get changed and then I'll meet you at the kingdom. So after doing that, we got access to this, which has some pretty decent items. I do want to equip this. And this, because I've been watching Harry Potter a lot lately and I just really like that show. should try some coffee. It gives you that edge you need to stay focused at school. Mm-hmm. Hey, you kids, you want to see a movie? Oh, that's right, you can't, because it's rated R and it's too mature for you. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm 20, sir. Well, not the new kid. The new kid's like 8 or 9, but still... Actually... 9. <laughs> Crap, I didn't hear if what he you said. you try again, I will pepper spray you back to the Stone Age. So, if you're wondering why that this is important, well, it's because of this message right here. In order to get back to the guy, you need a gas flask and Jimbo guns actually carries them. So you want to go to Jimbo's. Jimbo's is located right down all the way here. But you want to do that. It's pretty... It's required. <laughs> Where's your leash, human dog? Oh man, I remember getting beat up right over here. Oh, you called me dog, bitch? Ah. It's a good day to die. Uh, for you, that is. Like, sorry, I just like that reference. <laughs> uh, oh, my timing is terrible. Uh, Well, they're both pretty weak, so I'll just hit this guy. I like his sword. Oh, 
You know, it kind of sucks that the South Park Mall is closed because there was good potential of it being like a really good way. mark. Sorry, didn't didn't mean to do that. It, it could have been like a marketplace where you could have bought a lot of rare items and stuff. Kind of sucks that they, just, they decided not to go do Stay anything with, with that. Oh, there's some of the kids. I, I want to save that for another episode, but feel free to... Uh, I was about to say something pretty bad, but hey, correct yourself there. Feel free to... Well, hello there, Jimbo and Ned. Well, what you brings you here today? Business or pleasure? Or vengeance? Vengeance! You've come to the right place. So Ooh, there's the, the other... <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. So you can see up there that there's the other lock treasure chest that I was talking about earlier. But anyway. Howdy there. I haven't seen you before. You must be the new kid that moved to town. And you're into hunting, huh? Well, my boy, you've come to the right place. South Park is chock full of things to shoot that would delight any taxidermist, survivalist, or weekend animal death enthusiast. Ain't much I can sell to him. He sells some pretty really really good items specifically this baby the sweet katana probably one of my favorite items in the game i remember i used this thing for probably the most of the game actually the warrior's long sword is also pretty nice even though it's meant more for like a fighter it's good to use in either way but for now i just want to buy the gas mask and the hunter's guide to south park wildlife which will do that in a separate episode as well you kill anything in that guy, you come back and see old Jimbo and Ned. The best part of hunting is bragging about it to other hunters. For the South Park Guide of Epic Wildlife or whatever it's called, I forgot the name of it already. Oh, you want some of this? You you want to save it for later. I mean, not save it for later, but um, a lot of the enemies are really late in the game, so I'm gonna just save it for one whole episode near the end of the series. So, forgive me for that. I warn you, sir, I have five years bullshit. Before you do anything, equip the gas mask. That is absolutely required. That's not optional. I also kind of wanna... Evil Cartman, nothing scarier than Cartman being helpful. <laughs> what? Let's get those. Training at the mall. Move along, sir. I'm a professional. What the fuck? Oh no! Oh yeah! <laughs> I hope we don't get in trouble for this. So this guy's a bit tough. You want to use heavy attacks because he has armor, uh, which I think aren't affected by. Heavy attacks aren't affected by armor, so use your stronger attacks or magic and avoid using your uh, standard X attack. That's right, bitch. <laughs> okay, so there's a bag right there. Pretty neat. So there's the final piece of our fair set. There's also a Pokemon up there. You know, I don't know why I didn't do a separate video on the Pokemon. Shit. Ah, it's alright. It's alright. <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. Don't know why I just repeated myself like a thousand times there. Shit. <laughs> yeah. 
Can I help you? What's this? Oh, the elf stick the stick again? Hang on a second. Thank you for thy message, traveler. I shall make haste to Koopa Keep. Mom, can you drive me to Eric's house? So that's pretty much all we have to do. In the next episode, I'll head back to Cartman's house and we'll continue off from there. Wait. Okay, let's head there now because I just realized next episode's gonna be side quests, so I'd, I'd rather get this out of the way. The cutscene, at least. Nice work, douchebag. Now all my men are here and ready to fight for the... Wait a minute. Where's Feldspar? Where's my level 12 thief? Uh, hey, yeah. Where's Greg? He's in detention. What? He flipped off the principal, so he's in detention again. Oh, my God. If they've locked away our thief in detention, we have no hope of getting back to Stick of Truth. We have to break him out. Ah, no way, man. Last time we broke Craig out of detention, we all got in trouble. Getting into trouble is a risk that douchebag is willing to take. You have to break out our thief, douchebag. But don't worry, I will not let you go unprepared. I'm going to teach you how to use magic. Meet me at the training barracks. It's time for you to learn Dragon Shout. You fight well, douchebag. But to truly succeed in combat, you must learn to harness the power of your fight. Farting on an opponent at precisely the right time is key to battle. I shall show you how it's done, but first, you must take the gentleman's oath. You must promise to never, ever fart on anyone's bows, okay? Farting on an opponent is necessary, but farting on someone's bows is not cool. You understand? All right, then let's begin your training. To conjure dragon shouts, you must first clear your mind and take in a deep breath through your butthole. Like so. Hey, then let it rumble inside you and dragon shout. I'll show you one more time. Suck it in. Let it rumble. Dragon shout! Now you. Ready? Dragon shout! Find the frequency. Hold. Hold. My god, that was incredible. A man could live a hundred years and never again witness a spell so boisterous. Could it be that the prophecies are true? Could it be that the dragonborn has come at last in our hour of need? Now let us try your skill on a real opponent. Hey, hey, Princess Kenny. <laughs> Could you come here a sec? Shh, don't tell him. Okay. Just real quick, Princess Kenny. Sir Douchebag wants to show you something. All right, you two. Spar! Sir Douchebag, show Princess Kenny the magical powers I have taught you. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious! <laughs> Dude, that was fucking awesome! <laughs> Okay, good job, Sir Douchebag. That was sweet. Thanks, Princess Kenny. That's all for now. <laughs> okay, okay, but, dude, seriously, remember, don't ever do that on someone's balls. Okay, seriously. You have mastered Dragon Shout. From now on, it will be easier for you. Kenny will assist you on your quest, Douchebag. Now go get Craig while I rest and relax upon my throne. How may I be of service? Got some pretty good word here. Quite a moment. I want to see what new items we get. Noob hammer. <laughs> wow, that does a lot of damage. Shit. <laughs> So, I'd like to upgrade my character now, so... That 10% damage on perfect hit is good, but this does a lot more in general, so...
Wow, these are like the perfect thing to wear for um you. Really, that came out really wrong. You know what I meant though. Lit match and a lightning sticker. Get those. And we can't afford any of that yet. Flare is basically like wig. What the hell? Cartman come over? Okay. So, uh, we can now put a patch on one of our, so basically fire or shock, I'm going to go with fire because that's actually pretty useful, it's a burn effect, so, and we also unlocked a new upgrade available, so now we can upgrade one of our moves, I'll upgrade Slaying of David. Hold on a sec. No, I gotta, I gotta go with that jujitsu. And a new perk, which will be... Oh, we unlocked... Okay, we unlocked our new four, which is... First up is Healing Wind. Each time you perform a magic attack your, with your weapon, recover some HP. Power Button. Each time you perform a magic attack with your weapon, recover some PP. Counter Fart. Counter... Counterattack enemies with your ass requires mana, but delivers more damage when a weapon counter than a weapon counter. And then fart of war, inflict additional damage when using a magic attack with your melee or ranged attacks. So what a magic attack is, we'll get into that actually once we're in. A to be honest, I'm going to be going with bloodlust for this upgrade because that one is very, 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 very useful. Especially combined with jujitsu, and as you can see, our hammer is now literally flaming, just because of a lit match. So I think that's a good place to end off our video. In the next episode, I'll be doing most of these side quests, except for the hide and seek one. I'll say that for the episode after that. But we'll be doing the man bear big quest, the Mister Slaves package quest, and the Vulcan around quest and maybe whatever else we accept i just want to do at least most of these all right so i hope you enjoyed today's episode uh please leave a like subscribe share this with a friend and uh yeah see you guys next time thanks for watching peace